Well, that's a uh, thing. Oh, wow. Um, sorry, guys. Um, g'day, everyone. Ray Zero AU, and uh, welcome to another episode of Seven Days to Die in Alpha 16. Um, so I was just busy mining, like just trying to get things prepared and things like that, mining my own business, and along comes two zombie bears, and a dog. And I only just, as you saw there, managed to get out, so I quickly started the recording, because I wasn't expecting any of that, so... Um, but yeah, it means I've got two bears hanging around the place. There's also another dog. Now what happened to that bear? Did he just disappear? Or... What happened to him? Did they just despawn? I don't know. Wow. Yeah, it's like everything's despawned. Oh no, hang on. Bloody screamer here. careful. <laughs> wow. That scared the crap out of me. So they spawned in and they've spawned out just as quick. That! Ah. Bloody... These dreamer zombies. Um, I'm not going to use those. Don't need those. Don't need that. Probably eat that. Grab that. I don't need to gum powder, to be honest. Right, so it's 8 o'clock in the morning. As I said, we're just minding our own business. Although I have to admit, I forgot it was day 13, so it is dog day today. I was lucky to get away with that one. Still arrowhead. Hmm. We'll scrap those. Make some if we need them. Alright, well what I was actually doing at the time was I was just busy getting rid of these things. You can see I put some iron bars up there just uh, at the entrance to start off with. This is all I was doing, just clearing this away and suddenly this bloody great thing appeared in my screen and it's it was two zombie bears but it seems weird the spawning seems a bit odd at the moment um, but things seem to be spawning in and spawning out just um, at will I just need to bear in mind that it is dog day so chances are I'm probably gonna end up with some more dogs at some point uh, I definitely want to get rid of this because this was annoying last um, horde night. So 
so hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I was hoping to get this done before starting recording, but I just had to start recording when, when I was getting attacked by um, zombie bears. Or well, running away from them at least. Skilly mining tools is going up, which is good. Level 38. I reckon I need level 40 to be able to get to uh, uh, get steel smithing, which would be nice if we could get that. Then we need to get a crucible. I'm not sure. I don't think you can craft a crucible. I think it's a bit like uh, they replace calipers with the crucible. I think it's a loot only item. Have a look at that. Might be able to get it from a trader, which we haven't been to yet. We haven't been to the trader. We might have to do a, a trip out there. That might be up for after the uh, day 14 horde. So I'm infected at the moment. I'm not too bothered by that. I've got some antibiotics upstairs. Um, I can get rid of that. But I probably should at least start to get rid of, uh, start to heal up a bit. Yeah, sorry for the, uh, for just the mining at the beginning of the video here. Um, wasn't what I was planning, but... Almost done. It was definitely something we just needed to get rid of was this overhang. Did a bit more mining downstairs and um, sort of mined out the room that hopefully will be where we can put the uh, generator. Decent amount of stone from that. Obviously, if we can get some steel tools, it'll be nice. There we go. Alright. Oh, that's one of those bears. Bloody things. Really? The old thing does a bear shit in the forest? Well, probably because he's over there. Don't know that I'm in any position to be able to take this thing on. But, should we try? I think we try. You know what? I think we. I've got that there. If I can get a shot off on him and get his attention. Just Oh, yep, here he comes. No, not coming. Oh. Don't want this to end up like the... Um... Oh, he's smashing into the house. He's inside the house. He's not happy. There he is. Oh, I've fallen through. The only advantage is I don't think he can hit me. I just um, let me let me rephrase that. 
Well, let me retract that statement. I don't think he can hit me. Whoops. <sighs> okay. Let's put him on bed. Bugger. I knew I shouldn't have done that. So my stuff's just over there. But the question is, am I going to be able to get to it? Uh, which is a very good question. Oh, jeez, he's there. <laughs> Get up here. Get up here now. Alright, this calls for some sort of firearm. Uh, what have we got? Uh, well, we've got the pistol, I suppose. Um, 9mm rounds. We'll try with that. Uh, we did have a hunting rifle, didn't we? What did we do with that? Uh, no. Hunting rifle. And that takes us... It takes... It takes us? Alright, we've got 28 shots for that. Alright, let's see if we can't take this thing out. Get, get our revenge on it. Alright, uh, hunting rifle. Preferably before he takes down. Get some good meat from him, maybe. How many shots is he going to take, though? Don't you run away. Ah, oh, missed him. How can I miss something that big? Get your head out. Thank you. There it goes. Need these frames. All right, let's see if we can get this stuff over here. Do you mind? Oh, serious? Alright, let's... Put it on. Um, we'll put the 189 on. Scrap you. 
hunting rifle, you can go over here, but club, crossbow. Axe, pickaxe, state bandage, frame, bone shiv. We haven't got much room, have we? Uh, I think I need to get rid of one bone. Probably eat that. Drop that. Drink that. That should all help. Right. Oh, of course you're here. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> yep, of course you are all here. No good for food, these guys. Alright, let's play. That certainly wasn't the start to the day that I was expecting, I'd have to admit. But, you know, what can you do? So we get his rotten meat from those uh, bears. Do get quite a few um, hides, uh, just rotten flesh. 15 bottled water. Go there. Those you can come over there. We will use you. Get over that. Right. right, let's get back to doing what we were doing. Pretty nasty day today, weather-wise. Foggy and rainy. So one of the main things we wanted to do today was we wanted to um, start getting this place ready for the horde night. Lock those in. these guys out here if they've got anything interesting on them. Just clear them up. Having these uh, gall blocks around are, um, does increase the heat signature so and our heat signature is big enough as it is at the moment. Alright let's just that for a minute, that right there. Let's replace that block. Let's just repair these ones for the moment. That's it. Uh, let's repair that. One row of 
scrap spikes at the moment. I'm going to clear all these out just because... Now I thought about chopping this out, but then I thought to myself, well, it's probably worth keeping it in there to be honest. It's just that added layer of protection. It makes placing the spikes down a little bit more difficult, but... So we want to upgrade those blocks there. Drops there and probably I read somewhere a, a bit of a known issue about concrete not drying. Okay. It looks like some of it's dry up there. What if I hit that again? Hmm. Not sure. I'm assuming that's just upgraded that to reinforce concrete. I'll have to wait and see though. Ah. Let's, we don't need a hammer at the moment, we need these. And what we'll do is... That one. Okay. Whoops. So I really only want to do a single... Um, you know what? I got it. Let's just keep going with the doubles. Put the doubles in where we can, and then we'll fill in the gaps if we have to, because we don't. If we don't have enough iron, we'll fill in the gaps just with uh, wooden ones, and then we can replace those. And before anyone comments, yes, I know you can upgrade these using scrap. Um, this is just the way I prefer to do it, is just to replace them. Chop them out and replace them. Alright, so we've got 12 left. That gives us a full row on the front here. One, two, three. Yeah, we can... Chop these ones out. Now, the question is, can we? All right, I'm hearing something. No. something keep upgrading this one we just have to keep an eye on that to see about this concrete not drying thing because if it doesn't dry then it has reduced durability Four o'clock. Remember, we've got another day tomorrow. We've done. No, oh, that's drying. So we've got this spot down here. That's already dried. That's good. Alright, let's have a quick drink in real life.
Okay. The next thing we probably want to do. Ooh, get rid of those. Just to start to replace these with these. Now, this is the one where we want to do that one. Yep. And then that one. Okay. Then we need to do that one. No. No, oh, come on. That's the one. Is it? Yep. And eventually, what I want to do is uh, have this as two rows of these. So similar to this, I've just put two rows there because that's a... Uh, that's how I want that entrance. So I figured I'll just stick those there now. And then this one should be able to come over here, pick that one up, and I should be able to get that one in. Okay. Yeah. I hear you. Seriously, aiming in with that is just really not worth it, is it? So you see how these are um, still doing damage. aiming thing with this. I guess that sorted all them out. <sighs> Got a uh, airdrop showing up over there. Interesting. Let's show on the map. Yeah. Might just put airdrop just in case. It disappears from my map. There's an airdrop out there that we can check out at some point. We clean up down here.
There is still someone up there. It's going to be the only issue with this. Um, with leaving the steps in there. To make it that little bit harder to load. If they on this bit. But yeah, this is drying, so that's okay. Let's have a look around the side here. Yeah, that's drying, and yeah, so that's drying, and then that's reinforced concrete. So that's okay. All right, we got a screamer there. I'm not going to worry about her too much at this point. I could do it, I could sort her out from up here. Alright, so we've got 26 of these left. We'll just start putting them in. Gonna need quite a few more, but it's a start. Also, how many? Uh, we've got too many of those left. The spikes. Don't do that. I got. Well, I'll get rid of that one off camera. Oh, now listen here, you lot. At least we can see them now. It's not Horde Night. We need to make ourselves some more arrows the way this is going because um almost out of them. Roaming hordes seem to be a lot more prevalent now um, than they were previously. But, and the thing with the roaming horde is they know exactly where the player is. They can't, they just go for it. They don't know exactly where the player is. Basically, when they spawn, they go directly for the player's location. If you move, you're okay. It's just if you get caught by them, it's an issue. Oh, guys, come on. Four arrows left. Let's grab our pistol. Get rid of some of this 
stuff. Uh, pistol rounds. Eight o'clock at night. These you guys are annoying. Can't anyone get some work done around here? Alright, you're down. Where are you? Alright. Anybody else? Just gonna jump over this now. I will get rid of that off camera. <laughs> Alright, should we go do some looting? Just reload just in case. So yeah, so this is, it is drying, uh, just taking a while, there's the reinforced. What was that noise? Right. <laughs> Let me head inside for the day. It's been an interesting day. down here for the moment. One thing I just want to have a look at is I want to have a look at these uh, skills. So I've got 63 points that I can spend. So weapon smithing we can put up. Tool smithing, that was the one thing I needed. I need another 12 points because I need to get that up to level 6 because I believe steel, steel smithing here we need tool smithing 6 so I actually might be able to get steel Toolsmithing, buy that. Definitely want to put some more into weaponsmithing, but let's say steel smithing. There we go. Right, now we can make a crucible. Awesome. Uh, weaponsmithing, let's put that up as well. We've got 15 points left. Can't raise it any more than that. Um, I think that's all I'll do there at the moment, but now we can start to look at what we've got in here. A lot of iron in here. We can start to look at steel. But I think in here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I think I'm just going to dump all this out maybe use that for making some more spikes something like that 
I reckon. Uh, now in here we can dump off some of this stuff. Uh, we'll keep the building stuff on us. Uh, not going the rounds. We'll get rid of the pistol for the moment. Don't need cloth fragment on us. Probably eat that. Scrap that. Probably eat that. Scrap that. Scrap those. You can go in there. You can just be dropped. I don't need you at all. Don't need plant fibers. Anything else? No, I think that's about it. How long is that going to take? 35 minutes to do that. So, we've only got 16 minutes, so let's. Alright, so we've got 35 minutes on that. Now, the other thing is Crucible. Crucible. Forged iron 40. Well, we got that. Mechani 10 mechanical parts, 1200 small stone, and 900 lock clay. Got two mechanical parts on us. Have we got more mechanical parts in here? We have plenty. Alright. Let's maybe go downstairs and see if we have got what we need to be able to make a crucible because that will allow us. I'm pretty sure we need that for steel. Might be wrong. I'll have a quick look here. Uh, forged steel, let's go. Forged steel. Crucible. Yeah. So we've got the mechanical parts, we've got the forged iron, we've got more than enough small stone. The only thing will be do we have 900 clay, and I doubt it. Oh, we've got 800. What time is it? Uh, see, it's already night time. Alright, well, that's, that's okay. We don't have enough clay. Just dump the uh, building stuff in here. Cloth fragment can go in there as well. That. But we are only 100 off, so that's going to take 5 seconds to get. And then we can start, but it just means I can't start working on steel tonight, which is a bit of a bummer. But it's okay. Our focus is on getting prepared, still is on getting prepared for Horde Night. We've got another 13 bars there. We've got those. Um, Here, make another forty-four of those. And here, yes, twelve hundred of that. I'm going in here. Eight hundred concrete. That's not too bad. Close up there. 13 of those. So overall, I don't think we're doing too badly. And then this is the room down here that I um, sort of started digging out, ready for hopefully the generator. This room over here, I figure what I'll do is I'll make a storage room over here. And this obviously is where I'm mining at the moment which I probably should start looking for a new mining area as well although we will need to go to places like the desert and things like that for the various resources so um, but I dare say there's a few uh, a few iron seams around the place but I'm gonna call the video here guys Hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid Zero AU, signing out.